Always practice your multiplication tables or I'll have to give you sad puppy eyes all through the math class. Hey Alexa, can you do problem set six for me please? Sorry, I don't know that one. Hey Alexa, can you do problem set six for me maybe? <clears throat> Oh, she turned off. Well, guess I'm on my own. All right, fourth grade, we are going to do problem set six. Let's go ahead and read the directions since Alexa is not, look, she even turned off. Not going to do it for me. Guess I'll have to use my brain to do it. All right, here we go. Represent the following problem by drawing discs in the place value chart. All right, so number one says, to solve 20 times 40, think. So here is the problem that I'm thinking of. 20 times 40. So right here, they're wanting you to think, and I like to think of this as a number talk. So I'm kind of sort of breaking this down into smaller chunks so my brain can handle it. Two tens, well that makes sense, times four. And so they took apart the 40 and they're thinking four and then times 10. So two tens times four. Well, I know that that would be two times four is eight and then it's actually two tens. So I'm gonna say 80, two, tens is actually 20 and then I'm going to think well let's see 80 times 10 well 80 times 10 that is going to be 800 all right so they want you to go ahead and put this in old trusty and old trusty happens to be the place value chart so I started off with two tens, two tens times four, two tens. So that gave me, make sure you can see in my camera, two tens times four. Well, that gave me eight tens eight tens or 80. And then I had to do, are you ready? Then I had to do 80 times 10. Well, that means I'm, make sure you can see this. I'm here, but I'm gonna do times 10. So that means I'm now going to bring them over to my hundreds place. So my final answer is now going to be 800. So 20 times four times 10. Well, four times 10 would be 40 times 20, still gonna be 800. 20 times 40, 800. Oh, and there, now you can see it. All right, so 20 times four times 10. So if you can see right here, I thought, oh, well, parentheses first. Whatever I see in my parentheses, I'm gonna do first. So, <laughs> I'm, it's my son. He is sneaking some cookie dough while I am making my video. Naughty. All right, four times 10 is 40. And then I'm gonna bring down my 20. 20 times 40 is going to be 800. 20 times 40 is 800, so remember, over here, I'm thinking, what is two times four? That's gonna be eight. 20 times four, that's gonna be 80. 20 times 40, that's going to be 800. And you can see that on all trusty. All right, <clears throat> it says, draw an area model to represent 20 times 40. 
So an area model. Are you ready? All right. So I'm going to draw a box. It looks like a, a tape diagram. I'm going to put 20 here. We're going to put 40 here. All right. So 20 times 40. Well, that's 2 tenths times 4 tenths. And that's going to get me eight hundreds. Eight hundreds. All right. Let's go down here. Draw an area model to represent 30 times 40. So I'm going to set you up with the area model. Remember, it's going to look pretty similar to what I already did here. So I'm going to draw my box. On the top, I'm going to put 30. On the side, I'm going to put 40. What would 30 times 40 be? So it's going to look like this. 30 times 40. And then I'm going to say 3 tenths times four tenths. Well, what would three tenths times four tenths be? Well, I know that three times four is 12. So it's gonna be 12. So 30 times 40, what will my final answer be? This is not quite done. I want you to think about it. All right. 3 tenths times 4 tenths equals, hmm, well this is going to be 12 something. 30 times 40 is, I'm not going to give out the answer this time. I want you to think about it. All right. Then we're going to flip over to the back. Draw an area model to represent 20 times 50. So draw my area model. I'm going to put 50 up here, 20 over here. Okay. 20 times 50. Well, I'm going to think, hmm, well, I know what 2 times 5 is. 2 times 5 happens to be 10. And then I'm going to be like, hmm, well, it's going to be 10 something. 20 times 50 is, hmm, what will it be? All right, fourth grade, go ahead and try the rest of the problem set all by yourself. Because apparently, Alexa is not going to do it for me. Alexa, will you tell me a math joke? I tried to write a joke about pi, but it kept going around in circles. Ha ha ha, she's funny. You know, pie, that's a number. Google it, children.